Today, we're continuing our video series about veteran-owned small businesses, and I'm with Brad Bauer from Patriot Investment. Brad, tell us about yourself and your career in the Army, and now your business, please. A little bit about me. I was in from Western Nebraska. I was in the Army from 1982 to 1988. It was truly a life-changing time period for me. I think some of the skills I learned in the military leadership, taking care of people, persistence, discipline, really have kind of transformed what I was able to do in the military to what I'm able to do here in business. So it's been a fun, fun ride for me personally and professionally. And uh, I'm just so proud of the name Patriot Investment Management. You, you, we started with two veterans. Our first advisor was a veteran. So it kind of embodied who we are. And then to be part of East Tennessee, the volunteer state, the rich military tradition that they have here. So it just means a lot to me to have that name Patriot Investment Management. From field artillery officer to an investment firm, that's quite a departure. So how, how did that happen? And please tell me about that. Oh, that's a, that's a great question. I grew up in Western Nebraska. My dad ran a little gas station. He followed Warren Buffett back then. I wish I would have followed him a little bit more closely. <laughs> and I jokingly tell people I am not Warren Buffett in doing what we do. But that Western Nebraska belief in what Buffett did back then and then my father got me interested in investing, went into the military, and then transferred to a, a, a large brokerage firm in Washington, D.C. when I first got out of, the, uh, out of the Army. But I think those skills of discipline that I learned in the military transfer, translate very closely, and really help what we're doing here at Patriot. It's crucial with military service, but, and it is crucial with what you do here. Unfortunately, we see on the front page yeah of firms that don't operate with integrity. So could you just speak to that and the importance of integrity, uh, as you said, taking care of your people, taking care of your clients, and always being true to your work? Yeah, I think, I, th I think, and it, you mentioned I did go to West Point, it's duty, honor, country. So we take the, those, uh, those words very, very seriously. In the military, you're trained to thrive in chaotic environments, whether it's combat or whether it's training exercise in which variables will be introduced that make the exercise very challenging, in some cases impossible to achieve your objective. When we think about the investment environment, it's much the same. You have a lot of variables you can't control. The economy does what the economy does. How do you help the people that are your clients? How do you help them work through that? Oh, that's a great question. It'd really be twofold. First of all, we want to do a financial plan for everyone. The market is going to go down. The market fluctuates a lot. We saw that during the pandemic a year and a half ago where it lost 38% of its value. So if you have a plan in place for your folks, they can weather the, that storm. They can get through those tough times. And then the second part of that is it's most people's behavior. Like most things in life, it's their behavior that's gonna cause problems for them financially. So we do all we can to develop that relationship and then coach them through those tough times in their life, whether it's divorce, uh, health issue, going into a senior uh, uh, facility. So we're gonna do everything we can to work with them and help them through those hiccups or those uh, tumultuous times in their life. Brad, thanks so much for your time. Thank you for starting this great company and also thank you for your service in the Army. Well, thank you for uh, hosting this series. I think to recognize veterans and the other organizations you've re you recognize is just outstanding. Mm -hmm.